Ladies and gentlemen, President of the Council, the worst in all of this is that I have the impression that the Danish government uh, um, really knows what it's doing. All of my uh, talks have led me to believe that in the Danish government, which uh, wanted to bring in pro-European progress when it came to Schengen, well, they, knows that, uh, they know that uh, when the Social Democrats end up uh, trying to outdo the uh, populists on the right, that that can never end well. Now, I think that all of the points have been made here, except for one aspect, which I would like to use my one minute to emphasize. As far as I'm concerned, there's something really quite outrageous in a Danish council presidency which has worked very closely or which my group has tried to work very closely with on this day has actually spoken out its mistrust vis-a-vis -vis the European Parliament and this is a point which is very relevant to all of our citizens in Europe. We are not to be trusted apparently to um, square the circle between freedom and security and to decide what's uh, best for our citizens. Now here in this parliament we have former heads of government, we have former ministers in this house. You know them all. Why is it that you think why is it that uh, the uh, Home Affairs Ministers of the European Union think that uh, the European Parliament cannot be trusted to safeguard the safety and security of Europe's citizens? I think this is uh, the Emperor's new clothes in a way, this story, because um, uh, Europe's citizens are so uh, um, insecure because of the economic and uh, financial crisis and so in fact to, to uh, distract their attention you are uh, putting the boot in one of the major achievements of the European Uni Union namely freedom of movement. Uh, we will go to court. Uh, this is not a good day for Denmark or for Europe as you've said in your report. It's the saddest day of your whole council presidency.